thing goes up 105 feet, and at the very top, there's a four meter, one of the 25 largest telescopes on Earth that is permanently affixed up there as a microscope to check. And one of the things, by the way, I got this directly from the, the horse's mouth, so this is not hearsay. The guy who was in charge of fixing Hubble was on tour two years ago, and he said to fix Hubble, a shuttle launch, a year's training of the ast astronauts, uh, the engineering and manufacturing, it cost to fix Hubble's eyeglasses over two billion dollars, which NASA never talks about. <laughs> so, in order to make the giant Magellan work, and to make sure that we do not have a Hubble mistake, our optic sciences created that we had to build that four meter telescope mounted in the roof. We have a separate system that is wrapped in this black plastic here, that's a scanner. So the four tests for the giant Magellan and the two tests for the LSST cost $15 million. But relative to $2 billion, yeah. dropping the plastic. But just to, just to get the testing down, uh, it took an immense amount of science and science. And each of the four tests we run operate on different principles of physics. I don't know. So they all have to give us positive readouts and we minimize the likelihood that somebody is Questions about this. By the way, back in January, well, a year ago, when that thing was being passed, we had a big symposium on the floor here, and we were hoping to get a couple of hundred astronomers and cosmologists. Anyway, to make a long story short, the fire marshal cut us off at 700. <laughs> We had Nobel Prize winners wandering around, uh, Korea's Science Authority, Australia, Harvard, University of Chicago, UT of Austin. Uh, it was unbelievable. It was such a great opportunity. Excuse me? It was such a great opportunity. Yeah, I mean, you, yeah. you know, you're meeting people. Yeah. 